As you know, in this world, sometimes we have problems and we don't always have solutions. And sometimes we have solutions, but we don't necessarily have the problem. I think with the flying car, we've all been yearning for this for quite some time, from whether you watch the Jetsons on the television as a kid, watch the cartoons. But it's been sort of challenging mankind for quite some time, the idea of being able to jump up off the road and out of the congestion, out of the average speed cameras and so on. So primarily, I think it was designed uh, to incorporate the best of the both worlds of the, of the car, have some fun activities in a vehicle, but also be able to fly, avoid the traffic and get across the water, say, from here to Paris, for example. And that, that's pretty much what we wanted to do. But that's the very tip of the iceberg. One of the key advantages of the PAL-V has been literally to use tried and tested technology. And by that we're talking about using the gyrocopter as a basis, so that's actually coming up to its centenary of invention next year. Um, the biggest challenge really was just getting the road regulations for the aircraft aspect and then of course creating a new category within the homologation of a flying car, which previously was not in existence. Well, let's take a car. There's a fuel tank in a car and there is a fuel tank in an aircraft. The two regulations are quite different, so we had to then come up with compromises that suited both parties. We have already garnered many, many interested parties looking at purchasing one for their own use. There are also commercial applications, so whether it be for Coast Guard, for policing, the idea that one could travel to a location by air very rapidly convert, which is around about six minutes, from air to drive mode and then continue the journey in the one vehicle has a great advantage. Some people talk about the finishing line, so we're now getting to the start line and we'll be the first over it with our certification. After that, the sky is the limit, so we use the phrase tip of the iceberg, yeah, watch this space because we're talking about different uh, utilizations, different quadruple, uh, so we're having four seats, two seats. Let's just look at the future and say, wow. <laughs>